Hey everybody, so I'm popping on here today. I'm pretty excited. I have got a new video set up here. Um, so let's see how this works today. This allows me to be able to talk to you and to also show my hands. So I thought we'd play today. It's rainy outside and I thought we'd play today with some greenery, which I always love. So I've got my palette here. I'm mostly going to be using this sap green. So let's get that. I'm going to put that on my palette here. Just get a little bit of that. I always have my dirty water, my clean water. So let's play with that a little bit. I'm just playing with the cameras here. So there's my green and the wonderful thing, one of the reasons I love painting nature is because nature has so many colors, right? There's no mistakes in nature. Like whatever you see is pretty beautiful. So I'm going to use this blue. I'm going to use the green. Um, the last color I'm going to put on there is going to be this yellow. Um, so let's just add that here, which is turning a little bit green. And so this is the perfect example how important it is to wash your brush and then rinse it. So you get all the color out. And then I'm just going to put some clean yellow in there. Okay, so we've got a yellow, green, and a blue that I'll be kind of interchanging and using each one. Put a little bit more yellow on there. Okay. So you guys are gonna have to give me some feedback on what you think of this new video technique I've got. Okay, so let me grab my paper towel here. So let's go ahead and start, and I'm gonna give you a few different leaves that you can play with. So the first one is kind of the basic one. If you've been to my classes, you see it's a two stroke leaf and it's basically like a C curve. And we're just going to point, press, come around, point, press, and join the other side, just like that. So you can come from the bottom up or you can go from the top down, whichever kind of feels more natural to you. I like to play with both ways. Point, press, and then the other side. There we go, that one's kind of fat. Point, press, point, press. So you've got these two stroke leaves here. Now let's add in, because I'm not using the best paper today, it's going to dry and we may not get all those beautiful colors. So there's two stroke leaf, point press, point press. There you go. Try and add in a little bit of that blue. So that's just kind of your standard leaf there. So let's just draw some stem here. Another reason why these round brushes are so wonderful. They also have that tip on them. So you've got the wide barrel. This one happens to be a number eight Velvet Touch Princeton brush, which is my favorite, to be honest. So point press, point press. And then always kind of variations on the size, the shape, the direction, all those good kind of things. So let's try a different leaf here. Let's try kind of a long willowy leaf. Add a little bit more green here. Okay, so let's start with the top. And this is just a long stroke. So there we go. I like these long ones. I video them a lot when I'm out in nature. I think they're so pretty. Point, press, and drag it out. Point, press, drag it out. And you can even point, press, you know, sometimes they curve. So that I ran out of a little bit of paint, it got dry. So let's mix some yellow with the green. Point, press. So they can be going all different directions here. Point, press even running into each other. I kind of like these leaves. I think they're really fun to do. 
because you can get really just, to me it feels like my brush gets to kind of play a little, point press. So I'm using that different hue. So if you notice, now if I was to use a dark, dark opaque, which means less water, watch what happens. So let's go right here, point press. So what did that do? That really popped out that leaf, right? Point, press. That makes the leaf look like it's popped out right in front. Point, press. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's try, that's one of the reasons why I always say to play with the values. Less water, more water, so you're gonna have more of a transparent, more of a lightness, and then some that are really full of pigment and the ones that are darker are going to pop out so let's go for what's another leaf we can do here um let's go with how about some eucalyptus people like those so eucalyptus tend to be kind of a round petal so i'm just going to spread out my brush like so and then some of them are sideways. Eucalyptus do have a lot of blue in them, which I love. So we want to make a lot of those. So just playing here. Let's get some more. Yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think of my new camera technique. Eucalyptus kind of go in all different directions, but they definitely have this round shape. Let's do a few more. And if you notice, eucalyptus branches are more of a brown, or the ones in my yard are anyway, maybe not in yours. So we're just gonna keep going here, these round leaves, and then some are kind of to the side, like that. Okay, let's add in rinse. And we're going to add in some brown for the branch. I'm just using the tip here. And hopefully, if it hasn't dried too much, it will get we'll get a little blending and bleeding here. I think it kind of dried, so we won't get a whole lot of that. But isn't that beautiful? So there you go, there's like a eucalyptus. Um, we can do, and, and the reason I like um, being able to have a large variety of leaves is because sometimes you're gonna paint a flower and you're gonna want some filler. And this is perfect for filler in a, uh, in a picture. So let's do, let me think, um, let's do a little tiny leaf. I'm going to use this, it's like an olive green, kind of has some brown in it, and then I'm gonna mix it with some of the, the green. So we're going to do these, and they're just gonna be like dots. And these are great, again, fillers. So if you're going in between flowers, these are the easiest choice. I think you want to vary the color and you're just really dotting on the little leaves here. So that is a great filler to practice and play with. Now watch how pretty if we add in some yellow with that, which we haven't used yet. Let's just add in a little bit of that in between there. It really highlights. So this would be beautiful in between some of your flowers. So practice that one. Ooh. And you can add some branches in there if you want. It's really up to you. A lot of times I just use these just as they are and you don't even have to add in really the branches. You can, like I said, this is one of the reasons why I love painting nature is because Nature isn't perfect. Nature kind of makes her own rules, right? 
that's kind of how I live my life. I like to live by my own rules. So we're just adding in a few branches. I might add in a little bit of green. Again, get creative, just play. So there's another one. Um, let's see, how about if we do, how about a ferny, like a fern leaf? Let's do that. So a fern leaf, let me look at my little guide here. I have, I did these earlier. Ferns kind of have this type of look to them. And then they have these leaves. So again, more of this little dotting. And I would really play with the colors in here. And have some fun with it. I'm going to add in some extra colors here in a minute. So this is a really good one to do. Let's add in a little bit of blue. There we go. And you're just going to keep dotting and bringing each leaf, giving it a little bit of that ferny type look, right? Just little dots. And this is a really great filler as well for your flowers. So if you feel like, oh, I don't think I can paint any more flowers, try this to fill in some of those spaces. I'm going to put a little bit of a leaf in here. I'm sorry, I mean a stem. There we go. And you can have that beautiful fern type look. Um, what's one more that we could do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can do this type. I'm not sure what this one is. I should look up all of these leaves, what the different ones are. But this one's kind of fun too. And that is, you're just putting a leaf at the bottom. Just like that, push down. Something like that. Now, if you're gonna do something this simple, I would add in different colors to give it a little bit of interest. So maybe that has a little bit of yellow in it. You could add in some blues. Let's add some blue to the leaves again. Think of all the different colors that are in nature. Look at how beautiful that is. You could fill an entire